Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So very excited for today's video because I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, obviously I mentioned in my last video I got sick and I have the four new shades in the Hourglass, what is it called? The Hourglass Volumizing Glossy Balm. Um, they have 12 shades total. Uh, they originally came out with eight. I have two of those shades. And then I also did receive um, the four new shades uh, from Hourglass. So I've been wanting to kind of do a video, swatching them, just trying them on. Uh, I always, when I'm looking for a new lipstick, I always love watching videos that have um, a couple different options and uh, swatching so that I can kind of figure out which shade I want. So I like making these videos as well. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have, um, again, I have six of the 12 shades of these glossy bombs, so I'm gonna try those out. And then since I'm already, you know, gonna be swatching um, uh, some lipsticks or some glosses, I received this in, um, I, I don't remember, I think this is, I got this when I purchased the ambient lighting palettes. So it's a little sample of the four shades in their satin cream lipstick. So I figured I'll try these as well, just try them on, see how they look on and see if I like any and maybe I wanna purchase any of them. Okay, so let's talk about the Glossy Balms. Um, it states these innovative three-in-one hybrid hydrates like a lip balm plumps for a fuller looking lips and delivers the high shine finish of a lip gloss. The breakthrough formula is infused with our conditioning complex for lips that instantly look softer and smoother while feeling nourished and replenished all day. It glides smoothly onto lips for full body color and comfortable wear without feeling sticky or tacky, available in a curated collection of 12 shades. So um, I can attest to that. I think they are, like I said, I had um, two of the original shades, which I really, really like. And they, um, you know, for a balm and for like a lip gloss type hybrid, they do have some longevity. Are they gonna have like last like a liquid lip um, lipstick? No, but they definitely last and they also um, hydrate. So I've mentioned this before, I ice skate, my son plays hockey. So I am always in, even though I live in Florida, I am in, um, you know, a cold, I guess not weather, but cold climate because I'm in the ice rink. And then I'm going from like hot to cold, hot to cold. And these, you know, are really, really great in the ice rink. And then also going back outside when it's humid. So let's talk about the six shades that I have. Um, the two original shades I have are Mist and Slip. And then the four shades are Rise, Desire, impulse and sense. So those are the six shades that I own. So we'll just go through each of them. I'm gonna swatch them, see how they look, and uh, take it from there. Okay, so as I mentioned, the two shades that I have are mist and slip. So mist is described as a pale pink. That's what I have here. And you can kind of see it here. This is not new, so it is been used. Um, and you just kind of just go like that to put it, push it up. And uh, let's see how, I'll show you how uh, mist looks. Okay, and this is mist. Again, this is a pale pink. So one of the things that I love about these is that even though they're like a balm slash lip gloss slash, um, you know, whatever hybrid, it does have, it has some opacity to it. It has some color. They're also not sticky. They're very hydrating. There's a ever slight, and I won't even say tingle, it's not even a tingle, um, but I can feel where it's that plumping effect. Do I use these? Do I consider these a plumping effect? No, I don't, um, but they're very comfortable. They're, you know, again, but you know, if if you are you know, have any sensitivity to that, you may not like these. But for me, um, you know, you can kind of, it's very, very, very slight, but you do feel it. But again, this is mist and this is the pale pink. Okay, so next up is Slip. This is a rose, and um, this one is a little bit darker than the pale pink. Okay, and this is Slip, the um, rose. So I usually w will wear a, um, a lip liner with these. I'm not doing that today just because I wanna show the true color, but um, this one, again, this one's a little bit deeper, um, you know, but it's, I still, like, I really like this one as well. Okay, and now we're gonna go into the four newer shades. They're not new, but they're newer. Um, and I forgot to show the box, so here's the box, and 
this is what they look like when you first take them out and you can see that these are brand new so um, again you're just going to twist it up just like so and the first shade I'm going to try of the new shades or newer shades is rise which is described as a cool beige Okay, and here is Rise. This is again the cool beige. Um, and again, I usually wear it with a liner, you know, very simple, but this is Rise. Okay, next up is going to be Sense, which is described as a peachy beige. Okay, and here is um, Sense. Again, this is the peachy beige. I really like this one. This one is totally up my alley, so this is Sense. Okay, next up is Desire, and this is described as a cool pink. So we'll put it on. Ooh, and this one's got a little, this one's getting a little darker. Okay, and this is Desire. Now this one's obviously, I think the darkest so far. I think the last one I will try is the darkest. But again, this is Desire, and this is the cool pink. And then finally, the last of the new shades and the last of the shades that I own is Impulse. And it is described as a deep red. So you can definitely see it is um, the darkest shade that I own. Most of the ones I have are pinky, kind of nude. Um, this is the, really the only red and really deep one. So I'm curious to see how I'm gonna like it. Okay, so this is Impulse. And this is just, you know, described as a true red, but obviously it's a you know, a balm gloss hybrid. So it's not like a wearing a red lipstick. So for me, I really like it because it does add a lot more color, but it's not like a, you know, true red lipstick. So I really like this one. Um, I'm actually surprised how much I like it. Most of the shades that I have are, again, again, more neutral, beige, pink, um, which I tend to gravitate towards. But in this formula, I think if I wanted to go deeper, and most of the shades, I think the six other shades that I don't own are a little deeper. So now I'm kind of curious as far as trying to try them because I really do like this one. But anyway, this is Impulse, and this is the last one. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the cream lipsticks. Again, I just have the little sample here, but I figured why not try them and see how I like them and then also see how they look on. Um, so a little bit about this, it says experience high impact color in a single swipe with this ultra hydrating lipstick that delivers a luxe satin cream finish. The creamy lipstick features innovative vegan waxes for a smooth texture that glides on seamlessly and melts instantly into lips. Um, so anyway, I have, a Again, I have the four shades, Alpine, Dahlia, Cypress, and Red. Um, red is really pretty because it, if you get it, um, it actually comes in like a red case. It's actually really pretty. Um, but I'm gonna go and try each of these on individually. Okay, so I'm just using a Charlotte Tilbury lip um, brush. And uh, the first shade is Alpine, which is described as a warm beige. And uh, I don't really use a lip brush often, so this is gonna be pretty interesting. Okay, so this is Alpine. Um, really like it. Now, as far as the formula, it's very creamy. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna be able to tell about longevity because I'm not gonna be wearing it for very long. I'm gonna be taking it right off. But very creamy, very, um, went on really nice with the brush um, and very comfortable. So um, I like the way it looks. Now I'm more of a matte lipstick girl, mainly just for longevity, if I'm gonna go for like a true lipstick, if I, or I go for a shine. So I either go for a matte or a, you know, glossy balm or, you know, lip gloss, because I like, you know, I don't really like the, not that I don't like the way this looks. Um, I just tend to like either want a lot of shine or no shine. But this is really pretty. I really like this shade. I really like this shade a lot. So, but any, anyway, this is um, Alpine, the warm beige. Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna be trying is Dahlia. It is described as a rosewood and just gonna put it on like so. Okay, and here is Dahlia. Now this one's definitely not one I would purchase myself. Um, it's pretty, it's just not something I would wear a lot. Um, the other one, um, Alpine, I, I think I might even purchase that one just because I love the color. This one is pretty, it's just not, um, I have stuff like this and it's also not something I would wear, you know, a lot, so it wouldn't be worth it for me. But I think it's really pretty. And again, it's really comfortable. Okay, next up is Cypress and this is described as a berry pink. And this one's definitely a lot darker. 
Okay, and this is uh, Cypress. This is the Berry Pink. Again, this is not a shade I would normally pick out for myself, but I figured why not try it on today. Really pretty, um, really pretty shade. Um, I like it a lot, but not something I would um, purchase in, you know, uh, especially not in a satin, but a really pretty shade. So this is Cypress. Okay, and before I move on to the last shade, I just wanna show, um, that it this this lipstick kind of stains your lips you know so it's kind of like and i i scrubbed a lot i even took like some makeup remover and it still left some color now the next shade is red so i'm not really concerned as far as the shade but you can see that it does kind of stain your lips which i kind of like too because that way as it wears off you still have some color um especially with me being so pale but um the next one is red and it is just described as a true red so this is the one that comes in the red um, container. So let's go ahead and just watch it. Oh, this is really pretty. Okay, so this is the red and it's red. I mean, it is, it's gorgeous. Um, I have, if you've never watched my channel and this is the first time you ever, I do not, I do not do red lipstick. Um, I have a bunch of red lipsticks and I just never wear them. I just don't. Um, but this is really pretty. If I were to wear a red lipstick, this would be a contender. The only thing with the red lipstick is I do, if I wear red, I like to do a liquid lipstick or a matte so that it doesn't run. But I love, I absolutely love this shade of red. Like this is, I think this is like the perfect shade of red lipstick. So anyway, this is the red. Okay, so I am back. I took off the red lipstick and I just put um, a little bit of the Alpine the first shade of the lipstick, and then I went in over with Sense, the Glossy Balm. So I combined those two together, which I really like. Um, first, let's talk about the lipsticks. I think the lipsticks, obviously, I don't have an actual lipstick. I just have this little sample thing that I decided to try. Um, you can tell that it's a really good quality lipstick. The It, it just feels it feels luxurious on the lips. Um, don't know about longevity. I absolutely love this shade Alpine. I will probably be purchasing this at, in the near future. Um, but uh, I think it's, you know, I like the colors. Um, Alpine was definitely by far my favorite and Alpine was probably the shade that I would purchase. Um, red is gorgeous, gorgeous. If I was a red lipstick wearing person, I would purchase that red. It is absolutely stunning. I'm just not a red lipstick wearing person, but I think it's gorgeous. But I really do like Alpine. So the lipsticks are $38. So that's pretty pricey. I will say that's that is pretty pricey, but they are, you know, on the higher end of um, of the spectrum as far as lipsticks are concerned. But I would say, is it worth $38? Um, you know, for that shade Alpine? Um, I, it might be for me. It might be for me because it's something that I think is really pretty and something I would probably wear a lot. So, um, but I might wait for a sale before purchasing it for $38. Now, as far as the glossy bombs, I love them. I absolutely love them. They're fantastic. Um, but again, they are $36 which is pretty expensive for, you know, a product like this. However, um, you know, if you if this is something that you wear, I do like the hybrid, especially for winter time, I think they're really great. Um, and if you're purchasing this like to wear with a lip liner, I think, you know, it might be worth it. Um, but, you know, $36 for one of these is pretty pricey. So, again, maybe wait for a sale, but I do think they're worth the price tag. But um, if you can get them, you know, at 20% off, which is usually the most you can get for an hourglass. They do have a duo right now um, online and the two shades are Crave, which is um, uh, warm pink. And that's a shade I don't have. And then um, Haze, which is burnt rosewood. So there's two shades that I don't have that are um, part of this. And uh, so that's $55, you can get two shades for $55. So um, you can save a little bit of money if you wanna get two and you like those colors, then that might be something you wanna look into. Um, I do have an affiliate link below. I don't have a promo code. I'm still trying to get one from Hourglass, but I don't have a promo code. But um, if I ever see them, um, I will, or there's a sale, I will post it in my community tab or on my Instagram, so definitely follow 
follow me both but um, I think they're great hopefully the swatches um, you know the trying on helps you if you are looking into any of these and looking into the shade you know hopefully this helps you and if you like this video click like click and subscribe that way you get a notification every time I post a new video bye everyone